the neck on a classical guitar is wider than the steel string acoustic and electric guitar necks, allowing for a little bit more room for error when transitioning from one note to the next. The strings on this instrument are made out of nylon, which is a much softer material than steel and will be much more comfortable on your fingers. I'd like to start by talking about the most important piece of equipment that we will be using in our time together, the guitar itself. While there are a ton of different types of guitars out there, there are three styles that you will most likely come in contact with. The nylon string or classical guitar, the steel string acoustic guitar, and the electric guitar. I want to briefly talk about these different guitars and some of the differences that you'll encounter and why the nylon string guitar is the one that we should be using for this course. Let's start by talking about the electric guitar. The electric guitar is a solid body instrument, meaning that there is no resonating chamber like on the acoustic and classical guitar. In order for sound to project, you need to be plugged into an amplifier, meaning this instrument without the amplifier is very quiet. Additionally, there are construction differences that make it a bit more difficult to play than a classical. First and foremost is the material that the strings are made out of. While classical guitar strings are made out of nylon, these strings are made out of steel and may be less comfortable for beginning guitar players. Additionally, the neck on electric guitars is more narrow than that which we will be dealing with on a classical guitar, giving you less room for error when trying to navigate from one note to the next. Next, let's talk about the steel string acoustic guitar. Unlike the electric guitar, this instrument does have a resonating chamber. However, unlike the guitar that we will be using in our time together, there are some construction differences that make this less than ideal. First and foremost, the strings themselves are still made out of steel, like our electric guitar, and will be more physically uncomfortable for beginning guitar students. Additionally, the neck is more similar to that of the electric guitar than the classical guitar, meaning that the strings will be closer together giving you less room for error when navigating from one note to the next. It is common on steel string acoustic guitars to have frets that don't line up with the body. On the classical guitar, you'll notice that this point here, fret number 12, is flush with the body of the instrument. On this particular steel string acoustic guitar, we can go up two, three, and four frets higher due to this feature here, the cutaway. Steel string acoustic guitars are generally played using a pick, which we will not be using in our time together. Rather, we will be plucking the strings with our fingers. The reason that the classical guitar is ideal for the type of work that we will be doing together is, first and foremost, that the music that we will be playing was designed to be played on this type of instrument. The neck on a classical guitar is wider than the steel string acoustic and electric guitar necks, allowing for a little bit more room for error when transitioning from one note to the next. The strings on this instrument are made out of nylon, which is a much softer material than steel and will be much more comfortable on your fingers. It's important now to address some of the terminology associated with the guitar. The guitar is made up of three main parts. The body of the instrument, also referred to as the resonating chamber, the neck, 